kids. Oh, welcome to the farm. Good to see you again. Oh, you know, I've got a big task coming up. So, sheep like to graze. That's how they eat. They graze as they just go around and grass and other things that they can find on the ground. Well, after a while, the sheep have eaten up all the grass in an area. So we have to move the whole herd to a new area. And you know, that's a lot of work. Cause you know, I told you, the sheep listen to my voice and they'll follow me and I'll be like, come on sheep, let's go. And most of them will come, but I have to watch out for the stragglers and shoo them along. And it's, oh, it's hard work. So I got a big day coming up because the sheep have eaten all the food in their current field and I gotta move them way over there <sighs> to a new field. It's hard, it's hard, but you know, sometimes we gotta do the hard stuff to get to the good stuff. The hard work of moving the sheep to get to the good grass over there. And it's worth it. It's worth it to do the hard stuff to get to the good stuff. But ah, I'm gonna tell you a story of moving and going through hard stuff, but some good stuff that happens too, to get to the good stuff. So we're asking, does God keep his promises? And we've learned, yes, he always keeps his promises. So I'm gonna tell you a story today of, of what happened next. So we learned that Jacob, it's time for him to leave his uncles and to head back. God said, go back to Canaan, go back to the promised land. So he's gonna head back, but his brother wanted to kill him. So we're gonna learn about what happens when he goes back. So he packs up, packs up his family and the sheep and everything, and he heads home. He's heading home, but he's afraid that his brother's still angry, but he's trusting God, but he's afraid his brother's angry. So he sends a message, sends a messenger and says, go let my brother know I'm coming. Because his parents are, have, have passed away by this time, so his brother, you know, is, is there in charge. So let my brother know that I'm coming. So they, the messenger goes off to tell his brother, and he hears that his brother's coming to meet him with 400 men. Hmm. Well, he's not like his, his wives and their kids, and they've got like servants and other shepherds, and he's got lots of sheep and donkeys and camels. I mean, he's, he's gotten pretty wealthy. Um, so he's got all this stuff and his brother's coming with 400 men. Ooh, does that mean his brother's coming to, to fight with him, to hurt him? Is his brother coming to welcome him? He doesn't know. So it says he splits his family into two groups because, you know, Hey, his brother sneaks up and attacks and only then, you know, maybe he'll only get one group and the other will be safe. Um, and it says he sends gifts. He sends, he sends all these gifts to his brother while his brother's coming out to meet him, just, just in case, you know, maybe that'll, that'll, that'll calm him down if he's angry, send him some gifts. Um, and so the night before, he is supposed to run into his brother. They're gonna meet up. They're finally gonna meet up, you know, because they're a long ways away and they're both coming towards each other. So the night before, he's gonna meet up with his brother. He, he sends his family on and now, this, this is always a weird thing. I, I, I just kind of wonder how this happened. So it says that a man came and wrestled with him all night. A man came and wrestled with him all night. Why were they wrestling? How did they start wrestling? Did this man just like walk up to him and like, Wah! and they start wrestling? I, I don't know. It doesn't say how they started wrestling. Did, if he just showed up or if he showed up and they, had a, they start talking and had a disagreement. I don't know. That one's just always been kind of weird to me. Anyways, the man shows up and they wrestle all night. All night long, Jacob would not give up. He wouldn't let go of the guy. And so finally the guy, it says, touched his hip and hurt it. Threw out his hip, injured it. Um, so he injured his hip. And, and the guy's like, let me go. And Jacob finally says, not until you bless me. So the man blesses him. And in the blessing, he changes his name. He said, you're not going to be Jacob anymore. Your new name is going to be Israel. And do you know who this man was? It was God. 
This man who showed up and wrestled with Jacob was God. Now, that, that brings up the question, could God have beaten Jacob in a wrestling ma match? Yes. But God allowed them to be evenly matched so that Jacob wasn't beating him and he didn't beat God. And they were just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of one of those, well, that's interesting. But anyway, he changed his name to Israel. And Israel means wrestles with God. Jacob meant supplanter. And a supplanter is somebody who, who takes something that's not theirs. So he changed his name. Now, God changed Abraham's name too. And later in the New Testament, God will change Peter's name. God will change people's names at important points in their life. So this must be, be an important point in his life. He changed his name from supplanter, somebody who, who takes what's not theirs, to wrestles with God. And that must have taken a lot of, of uh, tenacity. That, that staying power, not giving up to wrestle all night instead of just giving up. Wow, he must have been determined. So anyway, the next morning, his hip is hurting, and so he's limping. He's limping. Maybe he had a nice, you know, shepherd's walking stick to go along, and he heads out to meet his brother. Now, it's been 20 years. He stole his brother's blessing. He tricked his brother out of his birthright. It's been 20 years. How's his brother feeling? His brother's happy to see him. His brother's like, yes, it's my brother. And he runs to him and he hugs him. And Esau's thrilled that his brother's home. And he says, I don't need all these gifts. You're home. Come on. And he welcomes him back. And Jacob goes in and he buys some land for his sheep and his family to live on. And he settles down back in the promised land. And everything's good. Everything's good. That's amazing. His brother was able to forgive him. And I think that's awesome. And so he had to go through some hard things, wrestling with God, worrying if his brother was going to forgive him. But he got there, and it was good. And he was welcomed back, and he was forgiven. And does God keep his promises? Yes. Yes, he does. So we've heard about God changed Jacob's name to Israel. And that's what the whole nation became known as, is the nation of Israel. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so what's our connection to Christ? What's our connection to Jesus in this story? Well, he wrestled with God, and God changed his name. We have to wrestle with God, I'm putting air quotes, and air quotes means we don't really fight with God. We don't really physically wrestle, but we have to in our minds. And what that means is we have to wrestle with that question of, do we choose to trust him or not? Do we choose to ask Jesus to forgive our sins or not? And some of us, we have to wrestle with that. But when we wrestle with God and we choose to follow him, and we choose to ask him to forgive our sins, he gives us a new name. And that name is son or daughter of God. If you have asked Jesus to forgive your sins, if you have asked him to change your life, he gives you a new name. He adopts you into his family and you become one of his children. You become a son or a daughter of God. And he changes our name. He changes our identity from sinner to child of God. And that's amazing. And he changed Jacob's identity to the leader of a huge family and the great, 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 great grandfather of Jesus. And he changes our identity too. And that's awesome. Oh, I love it. I love being a daughter of God. I love that he loves me enough to change my identity and take away the label of sinner and make me a daughter of God. That's awesome. Okay. That is the end of our unit because we learned about Jacob and Esau. We learned about Jacob and Rachel, and then we learned how he wrestled with God and got a new name. And next time, you'll have to come and see what we learned about. Okay, well, enough stalling. I gotta go move the sheep. They're not gonna move themselves. So you guys take care, and I'm gonna go chase some sheep. Bye.